finding the personality as having the amount of passion, the amount of desire? Is that what the personality is? Personality is also a part of the soul, yeah. yeah. And you could say the soul has thousands and thousands of characteristics and attributes. So, um, for instance, if I, if I pick up this chair and I say to you, well, you describe that chair to me. You will describe different attributes, won't you? Like, it has four legs. It has, you know, two padded cushions, one horizontal, one vertical. And you could describe that it's made of metal and, it's, and all of these different things, right? And they are all the characteristics and attributes of this particular chair. But that's different to the chairs that you're sitting on up the back. They're still chairs, but they are totally different in their characteristics and attributes. Does that make sense? And it's very much the same with how we look at everybody's individual soul. Everyone has these, we could define as these different things within each soul, but because of personality, they are all different in nature as well. Does that make sense to you? So, I'm having trouble with personality, what yeah. that actually means. Like, what does that, um, my personality is what? And, well, a lot of times it's very difficult in this current state on earth to actually describe personality to people because at the moment our personality is a mixture of errors as tr and truth. The errors are the emotional baggages that we've picked up, if you like, through our life from the moment of incarnation onwards. And the truth of our personality is what God put there before we actually incarnated. And the only time you will know what your true personality is, is once you've cleared away all of your error-based emotions, then you'll understand what your true personality actually is. And personality, if you could think of it, is all these parts of you that define you, who you are, that is unique to yourself and no one else, but also can be common to other people. So who here loves music? So fairly much all of us. Yeah. How many of you play a musical instrument? So, so even though most of you love music, there's only two that play musical instruments. So why is that? There's something going on personality-wise there, isn't there? But there's also some injury-based things going on there for some of you, isn't there? Where some of you don't feel that you can play music or you're not going to be good at it or I'm too late to learn now or all those kind of things, right? So how much of that is our pure personality and how much of that is our actually injuries? It's hard to tell at this point until we've cleared away all of our emotional baggage. But once you clear away all of your emotional baggage, you will become completely assured of what your own personality is. So like a part of my own personality I know is integrity. So I know that I'm like that, and it might be a part of your, in, of your personality that you are really aware of. You may have a part of your personality that's related to femininity, if you're, a, if you're a female, that you really connect with, and you really feel that's a big part of your personality. So there will be all these different things that are a part of your personality. And God made your pristine personality. And he made everyone's pristine personality, and he made us all different. So we're all going to be different with our personality. But, many times, error is into the soul as well, and we think that's a part of our personality, but really it's just the mud that's been thrown at us. Right? So how many people have read these <coughs> books that talk about, you know, four or five definitions of what kind of personality you are? You know? And, you know, choleric and, you know... <laughs> or, and in reality, many times, what are they describing? They are describing your injuries, really. Mm -hmm. That's all they're really describing. And that's the problem with many of these books, is all they do is they're describing the injured human condition rather, the, rather than the pristine human condition. So I'm talking about this being your soul, and it's full of pristine things, and it's also full of injuries. 